Hello, Internet. Welcome to the Nerd Sanctuary. This is Yami, and today we're looking at the, uh, how the hell do you pronounce that? The Chocolade? It's probably some foreign pronunciation of chocolate or something. I don't know. Um, the Chocolade Melody Trial Deck Number 8. I know this video is late. I was doing other stuff, and honestly, I wasn't even sure I wanted to look at this deck because I have never been a huge fan of the Bermuda Triangle, but. You guys are, well, some of the few I sure, I'm sure are. So, here we go. Gotta open this up, and unfortunately, I don't really have any pocket knives nearby. So, I gotta use a battering. Something I got from the Army Navy store years ago. I just, oh, this thing is sharper than, I, than it looks. I gotta be careful about this. Last thing I need is to go to a hospital because I hurt myself on a battering. Right, hey, there's one side, and now the other. It'd be very embarrassing having to explain to the doctor that I'm gushing huge amounts of blood from my hand because I cut myself on a battering opening a, a card game deck. I almost said Yu-Gi-Oh out of reflex. When I was younger. Alright. We got our um, first guide, which is good. I'm going to need this because I'm teaching a co-worker how to play the game. And I'm using the older format with limit breaks. Because that's like one of the oldest decks I have that still takes advantage of like counter blasts and all the basic stuff that would still be used today. And we got a basic trial, or a, ba a basic deck mat, which is also good. I, I use these a lot still when I teach new people. And of course it's got the info for uh, the clan on the back. Oh, does uh, Bermuda Triangle use force? I don't know what I was expecting them to use, but I didn't expect force. Oh, well, without further delay, let's get to the actual deck. Instead of me stalling for time. I also use these uh, plastic holder things too for debts I don't really do much with. Alright, Choco Love Heart, Lise, Lise Let. I don't know. Um, oh, it has the ability that it can be called as a grade 1. Um, yeah, it can be called a rear guard even when your vanguard is grade 1. Is grade 2. Okay. Okay, I get it. You can call it as a grade 1, but it immediately becomes grade 2 when it's on the field. Sort of way of getting past that whole can't call rear guards higher than your vanguard thing. Also, as they steal that when placed on either vanguard or rear guard, let it top try your deck and call it to rear guard or put it into your soul. Um, so ability may only be used by a card with the same card name once a time. I'm trying to figure out what these guys actually do for like their big sweeping mechanic. And yeah, they use force. This deck. Oh, oh, I get it. The uh, super shiny, nice, rare ones were put in the front. Alright, let me read this one, see what she does. Total radar this turn gets plus 5,000. She so gets 15,000 in a turn. If you have five rear guards, draw a card. Alright, these all seem pretty basic. I mean, the power bonus for this one is pretty big, but. Uh, one place, draw a card, discard card from your hand. Okay, that's the same one. When it has a vanguard, you have five rear guards, plus 5,000, or 15,000. Okay, I'm not really seeing what these ones are supposed to be doing. I mean, it's weird. Um, seems like it's all about calling and getting bonuses and drawing. They don't really feel like they have one singular purpose. Okay, I think I'm starting to see a bit of one. No, still not. It's, it's a lot of drawing and power bonuses. Hey, perfect guards. Alright, try that to do. I only count three perfect guards. Do I have another one in the back? Huh. Looks like this deck only comes with three perfect cards. 
That is very peculiar. Yeah. Okay. We it gives us six critical triggers, three draws, four heals. Is that number correct? It's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13. Oh, uh, we got, we got, um, alternate arts maybe in the back? Let me check. No, it looks to be the same art, but I'm not seeing a difference. Why were these ones put in the back? If you guys can tell the difference between these two, because this one is in the back, let me know, because I'm not seeing anything. Trying really hard to see a difference, but it's just not there. Uh, draw trigger. Same with the draw trigger, really. I'm not seeing it. I'm really confused on why they did this. Also confused on where the hell I put my triggers. Oh, here they are. Yeah, there's nothing special about the uh, hill trader either. We are two icons. Wait, only two? Is that. Maybe there's more in the back. There's gotta be. Another copy of this. I, I gotta say, the stuff I'm seeing in this deck is. Like, their organization for this is weird. There's your zero. There's Basic when wrote upon draw a card like they all do. Um, others of the I don't know maybe maybe some of them were hot stamped and others weren't. Oh hey a backup grade zero zero that's interesting. Actually let me see if I can find the when I actually came with the deck and see if there's oh right, there's our fourth perfect card so that's that's good it worked out. Okay I don't understand why they gave us. Two perfect cards. There's or not two perfect cards. Two starters. Um, let me get a closer look. No, there's really no distinction. I mean, are gifters maybe an archetype? They're needed. I don't know. Much love. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything in these cards that would suggest some sort of archetype. Huh? It's weird. Our force marker and graceful prayer, Amy. My attach to Vandor if you have. Oh, is this just a shiny version of one of the ones I saw earlier? Yeah, man, I thought it was new, but their organization of this deck is weird and bizarre and honestly bushy. What are you doing? Wait, did I put my battery back? I right. nope, nope. Battery's over here. I have lost focus on what I'm doing because of all this weirdness. Um, if you guys like to see, like, comment, subscribe. Personally, I didn't like what I saw in this deck, but that's me. Uh, again, I'm sorry about the video being late. I've been working on a few projects on the back burners, and I've kind of lost focus on this. But until next time, this has been Yami, and I'll see you guys later.